Do you ever wonder what you would look like with wings? Oh, it's just me, really? You know, I wonder, you know, all these movies that are out there, what if some of those creatures were real? What if I was some of those creatures? But the real question is, would my wife dig it if I had wings? Because you know what they say about a guy with wings, he can fly. As the Extreme channel is pushing towards 50,000 subscribers, these are just a few of the statues we are giving away on the journey there. If you want to know how to win one, stay tuned for later in the video. Everyone, thanks so much for tuning into the Extreme channel where we're all about extreme collectibles. And today we're looking at a number of extreme collectibles all from movies. We're going to look at them and we're actually going to number them from worst to best. Now when it comes to movies, there are so many different genres, so I actually had to narrow down exactly what is and what is not included in this list. Now everything we're going to look at today, there's either a detailed video on the channel about that specific collectible now, or there will be one in the future. So make sure you've not only liked this video, but you've hit the subscribe button and that bell notification. Today we're going to look at movie-based statues and kind of a little bit of history about this. I was going to start off with horror, but the problem with horror is there's so many things that fall partially into the horror drama and partially not. For example, is Ghostbusters horror? I don't think it is. I think it's comedy. Is Predator horror? I don't think so. I think it's science fiction. So really there was that defining line, so I decided, you know what, let's do a movie countdown of my favorite movie pieces, specifically statues. But then I've ran into the problem. There's about 90 of those, and let's face it, you're a busy person. That's why you're watching a countdown on YouTube about movie statues. So we're gonna make some exclusions. Exclusion number one, no life-size busts are included in this. Exclusion number two, no comic-based movie pieces. So while Bane is certainly from the comics, we're not gonna rate this Bane Dark Knight statue from Prime One Studios. That will not be included. Also, I've already done a countdown of the best Alien and Predator pieces. You can actually check that right here, so that will be excluded as well. I'm also going to have to exclude Star Wars, despite the fact I have a ton of Star Wars collectibles. And again, here's a countdown that I've done on those you can actually check out. I'm not including any of the Bayformers. Those are the Transformers from the Michael Bay movies. Not only are they in a different countdown you can actually check out right here, there probably will be one in the future because a lot of that collection has changed. So before we get started, I have a few more on order that would actually fall into this list. So let's take a quick look at those. First is one I'm most excited about is PCS Pumpkinhead. As you guys know, this is my favorite horror creature. I've wanted the sideshow piece for a long time, but can never attain it. So I'm excited about this coming in. It's sculpted by one of my favorite sculptors, and I think it's going to look awesome. Another one is this Iron Studios Voldemort statue. I know this is overpriced, but I don't have anything from Harry Potter, and I think this will encompass everything that I want. So I'm equally excited to get this in. Probably be another year or so before it comes out, but nonetheless, I will review it on the channel for you guys. And last one I'm even more excited about, because it should be coming very soon, is this Prime One Studios Lord of the Rings diorama with Balrog and Gandalf. So this is, uh, as I said, coming in very soon. I've seen other pictures of it. It looks absolutely fantastic. It'll be my only Lord of the Rings piece. Now you saw the wing of one of the pieces that's going to be on the countdown. You saw it here at the office because some huge changes are happening to the collection. There's actually a video that was recently launched about that you can check out. And all the horror and movie pieces are actually moving here. That's why we're doing the video here, and that's why we're doing the video, honestly. So let's kick it off with number 26, and it's this custom Michael Myers statue. Honestly, I didn't like this for a lot of reasons, but it's the only Michael Myers I have, and I'm not going to spend the money on a new one to go with the other three horror icons. It was just very cheaply done, and for those reasons, it's the last on the list. Next one, 25, would be higher if it wasn't so broken. This is a Robocop statue. It is a custom as well. If you recall, it came extremely broken. I have it temporary displayed, very ghetto-like, and it still looks pretty decent, but again, half the base is missing, and then there's some paint issues that I discussed in the video. Next one is one of the few I haven't done a review on. This is Sideshow's Premium Format. Conan piece. I'm a big Conan fan. I love this piece, a lot of parts of it, but it's underscaled and it just doesn't hold up to some of the newer stuff. And I guess a lot of that could be said about PCS American Werewolf in London. This statue right here I actually got on a trade. I really love the movie, so that's why I got it. He looks pretty decent, but PCS in the older days and even sometimes today don't hold up to the bar as some of the other pieces do. 
An older piece I do think holds up at number 22 is Sideshow Collectibles T800. They're Terminator piece right here. Big fan of Terminator. While this is an older piece, there are newer pieces out there like this that are better, but I'm just not going to spend the money. One way back from my nostalgia is 21 Rocketeer. I love this movie growing up. I heard they're remaking it. And as an adult, the movie's not as good, but this piece, I think, does an awesome job capturing that character. The likeness, everything is spot on on the mass portrait. One of the other, I think this is the only other one I haven't reviewed, is Sideshow's premium format, Lord of Darkness exclusive, comes in at number 20. Legend was a, a huge movie for me growing up. It was one of my favorites. I love Tim Curry's portrayal. Kind of crazy that this is Tim Curry. And I will do a review on him in the future. Next is a piece that my wife actually painted. I'm actually selling this soon, so make sure to stay tuned to the channel. A few of these I'm going to be selling, but this Godzilla piece, I do love it. It just isn't going to go with the collection anymore. I'm selling all the dragons. You're going to see that. Still very cool piece. Coming in at number 18 is a piece, I know this isn't from a movie, but it's my fucking list, so I can do what I want. But this custom Drogon piece, also going up for sale very soon with the Godzilla. Uh, it's amazing on a lot of different levels. Again, it just doesn't fit my collection. And you'll see a higher rank Game of Thrones piece later. 17 is old school. This is old school Freddy Krueger from Sideshow Collectibles. Collectibles. I sound like Freddy. No, I don't sound like him at all. But this older piece right here, it's not their OG. I actually like this better than their OG. Going to stay in my collection for a long time with the other horror icons. And here's another horror icon. Well, I don't like Leatherface, the character, as much as Freddy. He's ranked higher because I think the statue's done better on this particular piece. That's why he comes in one notch above Freddy. And I w This next piece is from Elite Creature Collectibles. It is their Reaper from Blade 2. I thought Blade 1 and 2 were fantastic movies. I mean, not fantastic, but entertaining enough. And this creature is very, very cool. It's a vampire that feeds on vampires. It's one-third scale. Came in at number 15 for me. Number 14 will also be going up for sale very soon, along with those dragon pieces. This is an underrated piece, this Kong vs. Skullcrawler. I think it's uh, very cool done. You know, what's awesome about this movie is it has half the Avengers in it. I will miss him because he is definitely a solid piece. Kind of a dark horse coming in here next at number 13 is the half-scale Meg Mucklebones by Sideshow Collectibles. So this is from that movie Legend again, and this is just such a crazy, underrated piece. Now, if you don't like the movie, you'll hate this piece, but I love the movie and I love this piece. Number 12, the statue is probably not as good as my ties to the movie. The Howling is my favorite werewolf movie. I remember growing up. That's why I like this statue so much. The statue's done okay, so it's more my ties to the character that are ranking this at number 12. Number 11 is Sideshow Collectibles' Jason. This is from Jason 3, I believe. I've never done a review on him. I should. But here you can see him next to the other horror icons. This, in my opinion, is the best Jason piece that Sideshow has done, and you can actually get it for a pretty decent price. Next is Tweeterhead Pennywise. So this is a little bit smaller scale. It's one-fifth, and I, this was my first Tweeterhead piece. I was pleasantly surprised. I think they did it very well. There's a lot of cool Easter eggs. This is the exclusive, but he comes in ranked at number 10. Number 9 is one I'll be selling in about four months. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the 90s movies. This was a fantastic movie growing up. This is a fantastic movie now. This is made by Prime One Studios. The likeness is on point. They fit together as a diorama or separately. Just cool statues all together, and I kind of put them all linked at number nine. Number eight is from Prime One Studios as well. This is their T-Rex from Jurassic Park, the classic iconic scene where he just broke out of the paddock. And this is one of those pieces that looks way better in person than it does in, real, in pictures. I was going to say real life. That would be weird. However, this next piece, I can also say a lot of the same things. By Blitzway, this is from Rocky too. And what I love about this, while we know Rocky is a boxer, the Rocky movies were more about his life. And this really encompasses that. And it's done so incredibly well. One of my favorite pieces at number seven. Number six is a custom. That means it's a private and licensed commission. This is a crow piece. They have a portrait that is very movie related. And then they have a portrait that's comic related. So I know this kind of breaks the comic rules. But again, it's my fucking countdown. I love this piece. I love everything about it. Very high in the list. All right, so we got five left. Go ahead and throw in the comments below if you can figure out what is in the top five. Also, make sure that you comment what some of your top movie pieces are that fall within the realms of what we're talking about today. Number five is a custom Blade or Daywalker. Again, it kind of breaks the rules, but it's my fucking list. 
I'm sorry I keep dropping so many F-bombs, but I bet you Blade would too. This is just an awesome statue. The likeness is spot on. They got so many different cool switch outs. There's a few issues I need to fix, but it's fantastic nonetheless. Number four is from Blitzway and Prime 1 Studios. It is Daenerys Targaryen Khaleesi from Game of Thrones on her throne. While I'm getting rid of all my dragon pieces, I am keeping this one because it's a throne. I love every part of this. The likeness is slightly off, but I can get over it because the rest of it is kick-ass. Number three really surprised me. It is the half-scale Pennywise bus from Prime 1 Studios. So these look so real. They are polystone. They're not silicone or anything like that, but they look amazing, and they look great with that tweeter head Pennywise. Number two are two statues I combined. These are from Underworld. These are made by Elite Creature Collectibles. This is Marcus and Lycan. These are one-third scale giant statues. I absolutely love them. And they go for a lot of money on the aftermarket because they're so fantastic. Which comes to number one is the Prime One Studios Mosasaurus. This really surprised me, but I just moved it the other day and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm very impressed and I can't wait for more Jurassic Park pieces from Prime One Studios. So that completes my list. Again, like I said, make sure you not only like this video, but you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell notification so you can see those upcoming pieces coming in the future. Also, throw in your favorite below, and the reason I asked you to comment is because of this. We will be giving all of these statues away, plus additional ones, at every 5,000 subscriber milestone. To win one of these statues, all you have to do is make sure you've liked this video, you've subscribed to the channel, you've hit that bell notification, and then just drop a comment below. Every 5,000 subscriber milestone, we are going to do a random drawing and pick a random comment and give one of these statues away, plus some additional ones I'm not showing right now. The more videos you comment on, the higher your chances are to win. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I really appreciate it. Check out some of these other videos. Also, again, make sure you've hit me a like on the way out. It really helps the channel. I will talk to you very soon. Take care of yourself.